You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. You're fired. Well, okay, this is a game show. But imagine hearing this for real and over a Zoom call. Have you heard what's happened? If you're looking for an example of the worst possible way to terminate employees, look no further than the CEO of the loan company, Better.com. Less than three weeks before Christmas, he fired 900 people all at once via Zoom. Now imagine this is happening for real just a couple of weeks before Christmas to 900 people on a Zoom call. So in this video, we're gonna talk about this firing people over a Zoom call. And more importantly, what can you do to protect yourself and your income from something like this ever happening to you? Now, it's not a nice thing to have to do. I've had to let people go in teams that I've run and also people that I've hired directly. It really isn't a very nice thing to do at all. But as an entrepreneur, you have to look out for the interests of the company because if the company goes bust, there's no safety net really. Sometimes you do have to let go of 800 people to be able to save the jobs of 8,000 people. But still, really, would you do over a Zoom call? Mm, I'm not so sure about that. Now, Better.com is a company with over 8,000 employees and made over $250 million in profit the previous year. Personally, I don't think you can let people go over a Zoom call and being really this unsympathetic about it. Company Zoom meeting to inform 900 employees they were all being fired. Your employment here is terminated effective immediately. I personally think that someone should call them up one-to-one, -one, offer them the support that they need and showing them other things that they could potentially do you know, going forward. Now you have to see it from both perspectives, from the employer's perspective and the employee's perspective. One of the famous influencers, Rob Moore, now he's come on really strong on the side of the employer. Listen to this video. Have all these people who are, who are hating on the CEO ever had to lay off staff, ever been faced with that quandary, the sleepless nights of having to let go of people, 900 people. Um, what's, what's he supposed to do? Is he supposed to fly them all in? Like he's getting a load of criticism for doing it on Zoom. I mean, come on, Rob. You need to have a little bit more sympathy, man. Come on. How about the employee's side then? Look, I've had to let people go. It's never, ever an easy conversation. So the CEO of Better.com has been known to publicly criticize his employees. Publicly criticizing your employees is never, ever a good thing because it shows that you will sooner or later stab pretty much anyone in the back. Not a great thing. In a posting to a professional networking site, he wrote, you guys know that at least 250 of the people terminated were working an average of two hours a day while clocking eight hours plus a day in the payroll system. They were stealing from you. Get educated. It was atrocious. What can you do to protect yourself from this happening to you? It's a hard thing to say, but it's always your fault. It's your responsibility. You have to take control. So what can you do to stop something like this happening to you? And if it does happen to you, what are you gonna do to make sure that the effect is minimized or you can even thrive from it? That's the question. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward, how much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. So if you're an employee, and there are many very wealthy employees out there, you need to be constantly evaluating the market and updating your CV. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits. The fastest way to ever get a pay rise is to leave your current job and get another one. I'm not saying to anyone, go and quit your job. I'm just saying that this is one of the fastest ways to climb the corporate ladder is by going from one company to another. I've got a favor to ask you, smash that like button really hard. In the and if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button. In the UK, the job market is completely different now than it was 18 months ago due to what's been happening in terms of you know, worldwide health concerns. So you can literally earn 20 to 30 K more a year now than you could two or three years ago. The second thing you can do is set up a side business. You should be focusing on building your long-term wealth with additional streams of income. I strongly recommend that you look into learning how to earn online. Affiliate marketing is a really good way of starting. Otherwise, look into investing in property or even crypto in a more speculative way. 
but you must develop a side hustle so that your job is not your only source of income. And number three, build your long-term investments. As I was saying earlier, build property. Build long-term investment and capital growth so that in the longer term, you are covered in case something happens to your job. And eventually, look, you know, you may want to stop your job and be able to retire or do something completely different. So you really must become a content creator, a cash creator, a wealth creator. Make sure you check out the videos on the highest paying jobs in the UK, how to set up your own online business that I've marked around the top of the video. Take care and stay safe.